This is a 1936 Evans Roletto Jr. It is a spinner type console slot which Evans made uh, spinners from 36 to 54. This particular model was made from 36 to 38 so it's pretty rare they only made them for two years plus it's a 25 cent machine so it's even rare. The reason it's uh, called a spinner is because it uses the spinner arm instead of reels to determine if you're a winner or not. If it lands on your number you're a winner. The way you play this is uh, you put a quarter in for whatever block of numbers you, you're uh, shooting for. Over here you got your zero and double zero and then your other blocks are uh, blocks of six. There's a total of seven possibilities that you can uh, play with. So if you play all seven coins you're going to get a winner regardless. Uh, the highest odds that you can get would be the uh, the zero double zero and uh, that goes up to 24 to one. All the other uh, odds either play two to one, four, six, eight, or ten to one. Let's see, I'll pull the lever here if I can do this one handed. And get over here. As you can see, it looks like the, a ball is being spun on the outside. And as it breaks, as it breaks, the ball moves to the inside, and we hit number 35. So if you look over here, 31 to 36 was two. And that's what we got. You only heard the one click. It shoots out two quarters each time. All right, uh, we're going to play this a little bit just to give you an idea how it works. You hit a seven, and you can see over here on the odds, seven to twelve is a two. And that's what it paid out. Every time you hear a click, it just pays out two coins. This one pays out uh, two coins per click. Go ahead, let's play it again. Was a 10 and the 10 is 7 to 12 here so it's what six that's what we have we had six payout number nine seven to twelve is two and that's what you had payout all right uh, play it again I want to show the odds the way the odds work is um, the odds you see now is not what you're going to get. Once you pull the uh, the arm, your odds are going to change. So as the wheel spins, your odds rotate. And on this one, it was 26, and 26 pays out too. Let's do it one more time. Maybe we can get something with a little more kick. Thirty-one. Thirty-one to thirty-six was six. One thing I wanted to show you was uh, uh, the way the odds works is there's there's a ball in here, okay, and there's a relay. And what happens is this relay gets made and it pushes this, which pushes the ball. Just put this down here. And basically the ball just rides up lifts off a switch and then every time it comes back makes the switch and then over here as it makes a switch this uh, coil gets energized for a second and it will spin these spin your odds and as that's doing that the the relay again will kick up and come down the reason I want to show you this is because if you look it basically it's an old pinball machine you got your couple pins, you got your springs, you got your ball. The neat thing is that Evans came up with this idea of using a flipper. Uh, they're using a relay as a flipper to flip the ball. Now, uh, flippers weren't invented in pinball machines until 1947, which is 11 years in the future. So, I just thought that was kind of innovative and thought I'd share that with you. 
Here's a picture of the insides. We're going to play it one time here. Now I'm going to play it again. This time you can see the, the payout solenoid. coil and that just about wraps it up let's take one shot of this take a far shot here because it does look pretty cool the way it is open up like that and anyway that's the 1936 Evans Roletto Jr.